Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at six new things that are added to the latest Laravel version. And the latest Laravel version is 9.24.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this doesn't in with rule and is contributed by kiss it off. And I'm really, really sorry if I mispronounce any one of the contributors name. With that in mind, let me show you what it does. Basically, it checks whether any string ends with a certain value or not. So let me show you that over here. I have this data over here, this domain, and let me say wow.com. And this is the validator. Here I'm passing the data. And here is the domain. And I am just using that validation rule, doesn't end with and wow.com. Now it will check whether this value, which is coming from the request actually in a real world case, if this contains wow.com, then it will throw issue and the message will be invalid domain. Here I am validating it. Now if I run it, then you can see here invalid domain. Now let me say apple.com and reload. Then you can see here it passes and it returns the data that has been validated the second thing that has been added is this merge unless to the resource and it's contributed by dami before there was merge when method and now there is this merge unless which is just the opposite of merge when let me just show you that let me just return this new user resource from this home and come here in the user resource and just write it like this if there is merge when if a user is admin then will show both email and type and if the user is not admin obviously we can use merge when and here like this it will work the same way but this is the thing that is added just for the convenience the first user is admin so now let me just come here and refresh then you can see here both email and type is shown but if it is not admin then it would only show the type so the user 2 has the type rule so i just refresh here then here it is not returning email the third thing that has been added is this when null method on the resource and it is also contributed by dami before there was when not null method and this is just the opposite of that so i think i already have that over here okay let me just uncomment this here find two and here I can just do it like this so here apple key let's say the key is apple and when null if the email verified is null then return wow you can just return whatever you want depending upon the use case but here i'm just returning wow so here if i just return wow and email verified let me just show you that over here here i'm not selecting email verified ad which means that it will be null so it must return wow with the key apple so here let me refresh over here then yes it is returning wow now here we can also pass closure like this let's say fn and let's say with closure and refresh then you can see here this is the result the fourth thing that has been added is this the ability to use at the rate class directive on a laravel blade component before if we use this at the rate class like this in a component then it would throw an error but now we can do this it will be very very handy because we can pass an array over here and if we pass true to the value then the key will be actually added as a class so let me show you that over here okay let me just go over here in the home controller and just comment this out refresh we can see here this label name let me go over here and here is the name okay so here i'll just do like this at the rate class bg green 500 true if it is true then this thing will be added and you can write any condition over here which will return either true or false now if i just refresh then you can see here the name has the background green and if i say false over here and refresh then it will just remove that background before this was not possible and now it is possible and thanks to agun Kant for this again i am very very sorry if, if i mispronounce your name now the fourth thing that has been added is this restore quietly functionality it is similar to save quietly that was previously present on a model basically the main focus of this quietly methods is that it will not dispatch any events like saving or deleting like that it will not dispatch the restore event whenever we restore a model quietly and you can just call restore quietly on a soft deleted model and it is contributed by winlinilev 
and finally the sixth and the last thing that has been added is again the improvement on the php artisan command and it is contributed by j brooks sook and there are these three new commands that have been added and you can run these and these will look like this let me just show you that over here pa pa is php artisan for me and if i just go over here then i can just run db colon so and it will show me the everything that is related to the database here i am using mysql so it is showing mysql 8 and the database name host port username url everything and also all the tables that are present in the database and their sizes like this similarly there is this another command which is db table so let me say pa db table and we can pass users by giving a space the table name so if i hit enter then it will show me all the columns of the users and its indexes like i primary key and this unique email key which was present and also it will show me the number of columns and the size of that table similarly the final command that has been added is this db monitor so if i run this pa db monitor then it will actually show me how many connections my database is using you can see here like this and you can also pass one max parameter if i show you that over here so it is like this you can pass it like this max equal to a number and it will actually dispatch an event database busy if that max number is exceeded suppose let's say here i passed here six and this is exceeded so it will dispatch that event and you can just do whatever you like by listening to that event